I'm John Skinner and this supports my book A Season on the Edge. This is the Daiwa Salt Pro Minnow and I've replaced the factory hooks with 2 VMC 9626 hooks. And here's a quick look at the retrieve speed and there's a little bit of variation because as a wave is pushing the plug I'll speed up the retrieve. If I'm reeling the plug into some undertow or other current I'll drop down in the retrieve speed. Okay, here's the main trip for this video. You can see it's quite calm. There's maybe a two foot sea. The structure here is, uh, you can see that bar out uh, pretty far. So I've got kind of a trough situation where I've got a sandbar, I've got some waves breaking on it, and then spilling into a little bit deeper trough. And, and that's always nice beach structure to be fishing. These Daiwa Salt Pro Minnows are very productive plugs. Um, even though they look very similar to some other minnow shaped plugs such as a bomber, um, they're a little bit different. They, um, they seem to handle turbulence a little bit better. They do swim a little bit deeper, so it's not that I find the Sol Pro to be a replacement for the bomber. Um, it's just a plug that I might use in uh, a situation where maybe there's a little more turbulence. Um, certainly another aspect of the Salt Pro is that it's just an absolutely fantastic casting lure for this kind of a uh, plug. It gets very, very good casting distance for this class of lure. Even though you'll see some pretty good action here in the daylight, I actually do best on this lure at night. It's a, a very good nighttime plug, but it works uh, pretty well during the day also. Leading into this video, I showed the box of VMC hooks uh, next to the plug, and I do replace the factory hooks, as I mentioned, with uh, VMC 9626 size 2L hooks. And you could certainly go down to a 1L hook if you wanted, that would work out well uh, also. And the other thing is I do replace the factory split rings and put split rings on there a little bit stronger. I'm using a fairly steady retrieve and as you'll see there's uh, occasional lifts and twitches during that retrieve. This video was shot on the south shore of Long Island, New York during the fall. As you watch this video something you might notice is that um, many of the hits, almost all of them actually, come very very close to shore and uh, that's those hits are coming on something often referred to as the beach lip and that's a little trough that's cut right behind where that first wave or last wave, whatever you want to call it, where that breaks on the beach um, the turbulence creates a little bit of a channel very very close to shore, right there, right where that fish hit and a lot of times fish are like right on that edge and uh, these are calm conditions so this plug uh, which does handle turbulence fairly well, is a good lure to run through that turbulence. When it's rougher, um, a lot of times I'll go to a bucktail, and a bucktail will be extremely productive in that slice of water. The rod that I'm using in this video is the same one that I've used in many of my videos. This is a 9 foot medium action graphite. It's based on um, a 10 foot 
Lama Glass GSB 121L blank with one foot cut from the butt. The reel is a Vanstall 200, unspooled with 30 pound test spider wire stealth. Uh, at the end of the braid, I have about a three foot liter of 50 pound test fluorocarbon, and I join the braid to the fluorocarbon with a barrel swivel and use a uh, tactical anglers clip. In this case, it's a, number, it's a 125 pound test tactical anglers clip to connect the lure to the leader. Sand eels were the predominant bait fish that were around uh, when this video was shot and uh, this plug works great when uh, the fish are feeding on sand eels but it also works great when they're feeding other, on other bait fish as well. I'm done narrating this video. I hope you found it uh, helpful and enjoyable. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel.